I am Ajay from Product Specialist Team at Global Customer Support Informatica. I am going to explain the steps to configure Power Exchange for Teradata Parallel Transport JDBC connection for Mercury, especially Admin Console and Data Quality Developer Client, and at the end of live configuration. Support for Teradata JDBC in Mercury is available from Informatica 9.5.1 and the drivers needed for this can be downloadable from the URL shown here. Download files are available in tar and zip formats and the drivers packed in the tar format could be used on Informatica server running on Unix based host and zip format on Windows. Drivers consist of two jars namely Terra JDBC 4.jar and TDGSS config.jar. Let's see the configuration for admin console. To successfully create and test the JDBC connection from admin console, place the two driver jar files in Informatica home services shared jars third party directory. If the admin console process is already running, it need to be recycled in order to pick the jars. You can use infa command script to disable and enable the admin console from command line. Once the admin console is restarted, create and test the Teradata PT connection from the connections tab of the admin console. Similarly, for developer client, the two driver jars need to be placed under the developer client home, clients, developer client, plugins folder. In case of developer client, the class path need to be updated with the path of these two jar files. So, the run.bat need to be updated with the class path and hence the bat, the bat file need to be uh, backed up and then modify the run.bat uh, to add the class path. Relaunch the developer client using the run.bat to pick the driver jars. Let's see the live configuration. My Informatica server is running on a Linux box and I have downloaded the tarball to this host. The driver jars from this tar need to be placed in the services shared jars third party folder. Now the jars are extracted to the necessary location. Now I'll recycle the admin console. admin console is restarted. Let's go to the tool to create Teradata JDBC connection. Connections, new connection, Teradata, schema username password host name where the teradata is running database name test connect. So the connection is successfully tested. Finish to create the connection. Now the connection is created and let's test this connection from the 
developer client open developer client preferences connections edit we can clearly see the connection failed because the driver associated with this teradata connection is not configured for the developer client yet so we need to configure the drivers for the developer client my developer client home is this one and under that clients developer clients plugins I need to copy the jars into this plugins folder I have already downloaded the zip file that contains the jars and I need to extract them into the plugins folder jars are extracted and I need to modify the run.bat to update the class path take a copy of run.bat and update class path now the class path is updated and make sure the class path is set before the launcher is called now close and reopen the developer client fr using run.bat developer client is restarted now go to preferences connections to test the connection now test connection is successful now after placing the drivers and updating the class path for creating new connections select click add button and give the name type as teradata pt and then followed by schema username password and change the host name and database name and then test connect and then finish You can also find the instructions to configure Teradata PT connect JDBC connection uh, in the in the KB156096 and the solution to most of the common errors while uh, configuring uh, Teradata JDBC drivers can be found at the 
at the following link. If you have any further queries or suggestions, feel free to write to us at supportvideos at informatica.com or tweet us at twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you.